Okay, so I guess Sparking Zero news doesn't just end with trailers. Looks like we got more looks, footage, uh, however you want to consider it. Uh, just a deeper dive into a train, uh, the training mode that's going to be taking place in Sparking Zero. And I was not going to cover it, but um, there's something in this training mode that's worth noting, especially if you're a Gohan fan. And I did mention, like, I want more Gohan footage. And now that we have it, I feel like it, it'd be a little dumb of me not to cover it. So what we're going to see right now is... Gohan and Piccolo if you take a look on the screen right there you can see Gohan and Piccolo right here the title reads Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Battle Training Mode Gameplay Revealed and this is on the PlayStation blog website and you can see again you can see that Gohan and Piccolo are there training alongside Gohan Goten and Piccolo to master the art of battle now I'm not going to read through everything but one thing that's worth noting is Gohan so if you can if you can see right here on the left screen um, I don't know if you can actually see it if my face is covering it, but if you look at it right here. So on that left screen, you see Gohan on the bottom. So the, the, it's not like a completely new character slot. So we're, we're what we're looking at here, this Gohan that we're, we were looking at earlier, this one right here. This is Dragon Ball Super Gohan. This is base form Dragon Ball Super Gohan. And if you don't believe me, we can go a little bit further right there. So that's actually how he looked what he looked like in the tournament of power or in dragon ball super prior proper uh per se but again interesting to note that there is no new character slot for this version of gohan i'm assuming it's just going under adult gohan and that's just what it is but it, it's just interesting to me that it is a costume slot rather than a character slot i thought they were going to do the same thing they did with goku and vegeta where they separate sort of like end of z gohan with dragon ball super gohan and those were going to be two completely different characters i'm s hoping that because they did that here and that they separated gohan into instead of a character slot for dragon ball super but a costume change that just means that he's only able to go up to super saiyan 2 um that's what i'm uh, gonna assume because if you remember in dragon ball super early on he was having a hard time going back to his ultimate form so much so that piccolo had to reteach him basically how to get back to it um and so i'm hoping that the new character slot that we get for gohan that ends up going to ultimate and then beast is the dragon ball super gohan from dragon ball super superhero that's what i'm going to assume is just the route that they're going to go with otherwise it just doesn't make sense to put this Gohan as a cost just just personally like i'm not a giant fan of it i think it, it's kind of like it don't make sense if, Go if goku and vegeta got all these character versions and gohan doesn't it just <laughs> don't make sense but uh that's not exactly the main thing the main thing is we're looking at these this gameplay and if you could see right here these are showing you combos so the the, the combo screen right there this is the training for a blast kick um I, it looks very familiar to tenkai so it, it's giving me a lot of reminiscence to that you can boost the move um, which is going to be an interesting mechanic to use. I don't know if the boost applies for everything or if this is a specific move that only boost allows. Um, but as you can see on the right screen, it says press to use key and fire a blast. So this one is showing Goten and Gohan. So this is to switch characters, which i um, glad it's seamless. It looks pretty cool too. And I like um, one of the things about switching characters also is that um, I think once you switch to a new character, you pop up right in front of your opponent. In this case, obviously, they're already kind of ahead of each other, in front of each other, so it doesn't really, can't really see that. And then if we're going here, we're going to a Vanishing Assault follow-up. Now, this is actually very, 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 very familiar to Tenkaiji right here. Vanishing Assault is something that I, you know, is not something new, and it's cool to see. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Vanishing Assault is a move name from Tenkaiji proper. But it's cool to see these combo streams so you can press it i'm wondering if this right here this what we're watching is the move mode um for classic mode um i wonder if they say it here anywhere there's a robust training mode between classic master and apprentice piccolo and gohan with goten also making a guest appearance uh classic master and apprentice so that's just you training through it i guess but there are like we've seen that you know there's two modes to playing dragon ball sparking zero there is classic mode and modern mode and um i think i might be playing classic but oh that is sick let's look at that again so vanishing assault follow-up boom 
Boom. Oh, okay, cool. So they added a little bit of a cut screen, but that is also... That looks a lot smoother also than... Okay, that's cool. I don't know how I feel about adding the cut screen, but this is basically... Um, they did this in Dragon Ball uh, Tenkaichi 3, uh, where you could sort of hit somebody and then um, vanish on top of them and then kick them down. It's basically what we're looking at here. This looks a lot smoother too, um, which is super cool to see. I don't know if I'm, like I said, I'm a huge fan of the cutscene, but it looks very smooth. And then what we got here is the counters. Here we go. So, boom. He does even the, the pose is like the same also as Tenkai. This is mad Tenkaiji vibes, bro. Oh my goodness. This game is just going to go crazy. This game is just going to go nuts. Um, press the moment, follow up, attack, lands. Okay, there we go. That's the, that's the counter to to like um getting tossed i wonder if that is in succession so you have to put that well i mean it's gonna be it's gotta be in succession otherwise there's no point point. and it looks like this is just the super moves so this is go 10 it's a little kamehameha <clears throat> while in sparking mode so this is just showing you a combo to hit land that um an r2 and o that seems very familiar also uh, to land that hit because a, a, a lot of times what you have to do in Tenkaiji is sort of like hit somebody and push them away in order to land like a move like Dragon like uh, Kamehameha but this looks like a, just a, a solid little combo so this so, little nice little stuff basically all of this stuff is mad Tenkaiji like it's it's all stuff that we've seen in Tenkaiji for sure so it, it's gonna be interesting to see the game when it comes out because I think Ultimately, you know, if you play Tenkaiji, you're going to know what you're doing, you know, more so than somebody that doesn't know how to play Tenkaiji. But I'll, again, I'm curious to see how much the classic mode uh, versus the modern mode really affects the gameplay. That's what I want to see, okay? Because I, I, I'm leaning towards the case of the modern mode, and I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're called, classic versus modern, but that's what I'm saying right now. You can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming that modern mode is a little bit closer and if not basically raging blast esque um for gameplay to make things a lot more simpler to land hits and things of that nature but i feel like it's going to be more repetitive um combos and things and if you want to get actual combo streams and like actual follow-ups that you know vary you're gonna have to go into classic mode which i think is just going to be the case i like i said i I think I said in a previous video, the only other place I seen this was Tekken 8 most recently. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious, man. We got to see, like I said, we got to see Gohan. I'm here. I'm glad that we got to see more footage of him. Um, I am a little bit upset that it is a costume change more so than a character slot. It would have been cool to see a character slot, but also that would be kind of giving away a new character, I guess, in a sense. But um, either way, this is still kind of giving away a new character in a sense. I don't know. But uh, let me know if you're with me, uh, Gohan fans. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have the same thoughts that I do. I just hope that and pray that they do not fumble um, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Gohan. Because that, that should be a character of its own, you know, with the cape and everything. And the, his new hairstyle. Because he has a completely different hairstyle in that movie. That is not at all what he had in Dragon Ball Super. Um, so, or the show, you know. Um... So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, we still got like, what, like 60 or so characters that they still haven't revealed. So I'm here patiently waiting. I'm sure everybody else is. I'm sure you guys are. But uh, until then, this is what we got. Everything looks very familiar. Everything looks very similar to Tenkaiji. And that looks awesome. It just looks like they polished things up, smoothened things up, added some things that worked from Raging Blast, added some, all the stuff, bare bones of Tenkaiji and put it together, which is what I was saying when they first announced the game is if they do that, if they're able to me meld Raging Blast and Tenkaiji, because Raging Blast was fun for what it was, that they're able to meld the cool things about Raging Blast and put it and add it and make an amalgamation of an awesome game, which is, looks like what we're getting, then this could be one of, if not the best anime fighting game, we've, or just anime games in general we've ever seen. So I'm here for it. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are also excited about this. Tenkaiji players, let me know how you're feeling about this game training mode but also a little bit more game footage um looks very familiar i'm ready to, to scrap with people online i'm ready to scrap with people locally i'm ready to just play the game so october 11th my man my boy my god ah, i can't even speak october 11th ah, i can't come soon enough